I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on algebra. Here is a very important question which we are going to look into details. We want to consider sum of a number and its reciprocal and what happens to the sum of their cubes. That means sum of the cube of a number and the reciprocal cube of the number. So related to this, we have four questions. These questions are actually very popular in many multiple choice test papers. We'll also learn few tricks to solve them within a second. Question number one here is, if x plus one over x is four, then x cubed plus one over x cubed is what? Four choices are given to you. Question number two, if x plus one over x is n, then x cubed plus 1 over x cube is what? So as you can see from here, question number 2 will give you a general formula, right? And we can apply this general formula to find the value when the sum of a number and its reciprocal is any number, right? So that is the trick. Once you know this formula, which is one of these, then you can get the solution in few seconds. Question number three here is, if x plus one over x is minus one, so that's a special case when n is minus one, then what is x cube equals to, right? So this unit block, x cube is equal to. So one of these. And once you understand this, then any question related to powers of cubes can be very easily solved. You understand? So I hope you appreciate the strength of this particular question. And now let's look into how to solve and how to learn the tricks about solving such things within few seconds. So let's begin with the question number two itself, which provides us with a general formula. So we are given x plus one over x as n let us try to figure out what should be x cubed plus 1 over x cubed. So we know x plus 1 over x is equal to n, right? Now, if I cube both sides, then what happens? So then on the left side, I'll get x cubed plus 3 times x squared times 1 over x plus 3 times x times 1 over x squared plus 1 over x cubed. And on the right side, we get n cubed. We are really interested in some of these two. And so let's club them together. That is what we are interested in. And what we have here is 3x squared plus 3 over x well, one of these x's cancel, correct? So you could cancel this, you could cancel this, so you get that equal to n q. Now, if I rearrange, then what do I get? Then I get x q plus 1 over x q as equal to n q minus this, right? So minus. 3x minus 3 over x. Think like this. We have n cube minus, I can take 3 common, right? So if I take 3 common, I get x plus 1 over x. Now, you know what is x plus 1 over x? It is n. So what you get here is n cube minus 3n. So we can write that x cube plus 1 over x cube is basically n cube minus 3n. So that becomes our formula. So the answer here is, it is n cube minus 3n, which is the last option. Correct? So, so I hope that helps. So this small derivation of few steps really helps you to understand how to derive and remember the formula. So if x plus 1 over x is n, then x cube plus 1 over x cube will be n cube minus 3n. 
Now we can just apply this formula here. We know n is 4 here, so that should be how much? It should be 4 cube minus 3 times 4, right? Which is 64 minus 3 times 4, which is 12. So 64 minus 12 is indeed 52. So the option is D. Is that correct? So, so that is how we actually get a very important relation. So let me write down here that if x plus 1 over x is n, then x cubed plus 1 over x cubed will be n cubed minus 3 times n. Right? So I hope you understand and appreciate this part. Now let's look into the second part. So we'll actually begin with x cubed plus 1 over x cubed is n cubed minus 3n. So this particular formula and then look further into question number 3 and 4. Let's look into the cases when x plus 1 over x is either plus 1 or minus 1. So here are two questions. In question number 3, you will note we are talking about x plus 1 over x as minus 1, correct? Then find x cubed. This is a very important question. So let's derive the result. We just found that x plus 1 over x, if it is n, in that case, x cubed plus 1 over x cubed will be equal to n cubed minus 3 times n. Now see what happens when n equals to minus 1. Now if I write n equals to minus 1, in that case, let me use a different thing, we'll get the result as minus 1 whole cube times 3 times minus 1, correct? So that gives you minus 1 and that makes this as minus minus as plus 3. So the result is 2. Now you have to think, how do you get 2 from here? Well, to get 2, it could be only 1 plus 1, which will result into 2. So that gives you one of our result, which is x cube should be equal to 1, correct? So in this case, x cube should be 1. So the result is A. Is that clear to you? Correct. Now, let's look into the second case. Now, this is a very important result. If x plus 1 over x is minus 1, then x cube is 1. Okay, so you can actually find a solution to many questions from here. Now, let's look into the second case when, when uh, let's look into question 4, which is x plus 1 over x is plus 1. So now we are given that x plus 1 over x is plus 1. In that case, we need to find what is x cube, x to the power of 9 plus 1 over x to the power of 9. So let's first find what is x cube in this case, right? So, okay, so we know the result that x cube plus 1 over x cube should be equal to 1 cube minus 3 times 1, which is minus 2. Now, that clearly indicates that x cubed should be equal to minus 1, right? Because minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. So, x cubed is equal to minus 1. So, that is a very important result. Perfect. So, we actually found two important results from here. That is to say, let me summarize here before I answer question number 4, which you can now answer easily. If I say that x plus 1 over x is minus 1. In that case, what is x cube equals to? And if I say x plus 1 over x is plus 1, then what is x cube equals to? For minus 1, it is plus 1, and for plus 1, it is minus 1. Easy to remember, okay? So in this case, we have plus 1 here, so x cube is minus 1. So if I write minus 1, right, so then I could actually find the solution. So let's do the solution of x to the power of 9 plus 1 over x to the power of 9. So that really means we are talking about cube cube, right? That is 9, right? And here also, cube cube. So we know this is, uh, this in this case is minus 1. So we are talking about minus 1 cube plus 1 over minus 1 cube. Now that makes it minus 1 minus 1, which is minus 2. So the option is C for us. It does make sense to you, right? So that is how we are actually going to answer all these questions. Perfect. 
So I hope now you learn all the tricks to solve. So if this question is given to you next time, it is very easy. x plus 1 over x is 4. What is x cubed plus 1 over x cubed? You will simply say, well, that should be 4 cubed minus 3 times 4, which is 64 minus 12, which is 52. So the option is D. You get the idea, right? And that is the general formula which we just learned. And in 3, x plus 1 over x is minus 1. We know x cubed is plus 1, right? And the last case, you found that this answer should be minus 1 minus 1, which is minus 2, correct? So that is how we can quickly answer all such questions. I'll actually recommend you to check other tricks involved in algebra with the link provided so that you can easily solve similar questions in no time, few seconds. I hope you understand and appreciate them. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.